Hey, 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 what's going on guys? Dave back today with the mail day. Got some stuff that's stacked up over the course of time here. And uh, figured it's about time to rip some of the stuff open. Um, I don't know exactly what is in each package, but I do know I've had some really cool stuff that I've been waiting to come in and sitting on. So with that, we're just gonna jump straight on into things. And it'll be a little bit of, a, of an adventure as I scrolled through memory lane of what did I buy? Um, again, most of the stuff is going to be PC. There are going to be a few things potentially that are break related. This is a redemption. Didn't get this in a break, but picked it up super cheap. Not for $15. Uh, probably more like $4 on, um, on eBay. Really because Taewon Taylor has just the, a sick auto. Um, and it's uh, one of the contenders, rookie RPSs. So, um, all like I said, I, I picked that up for a pretty good deal. He's not in my PC, but he's got a sweet auto. And I don't know, I'm not super high on the guy, but he, he could turn into something there in Tennessee. Especially since Decker's no longer on the team and uh, Marietta still needs some, some receiving threats. Next card here. Oh, yes, I know what this is. This is the 1998 score Fred Taylor rookie auto. Um, their pinnacle, or I guess the time is called pinnacle um, from score. But I was sitting on, waiting on this card, waiting on this card, and got a nice deal between a, a buy it now offer and I believe a, a coupon as well on eBay. So it looks to be in pretty good shape overall for being 98. So. I may take a closer look at it later, see if it's worth getting graded somewhere down the line, but super stoked about this. And if you know anything about my Fred Taylor collection, I absolutely love um, any Fred Taylor card in his uh, in his Gators uni uniform. Um, just really cool. Next up, we've got, what's this one? Ooh, yep. So typically within my Fred Taylor PC, um, most of what I'm collecting is autographs. Okay, can't get this bag open. Um, most of what I'm collecting is autographs. However, if I find a really cool patch, I'll pick that up. Or if there's something a little bit different and unique, I'll pick that up as well. And what this is, this is from 1998 Collector's Edge. Um, and this is a preview card, which is the reason why I picked it up. I think I got it for like two bucks. So kind of one of those unique pieces from his rookie year that decided to add to the collection. Um, I might do a, P or a, a video one day about kind of the unique Taylor pieces I have in my, my collection. I have, I have like an uncut card and some other cool stuff there as, as well. All right, jumping on this next guy, which is really taped up and marked well all right and we have ah a flawless there we go the auto is a little smudged there um but the the patch is just beautiful beautiful patch um picked this up for a, a pretty solid price a price i was happy with um, it was a discounted price because of that, that smudged auto, but um, the patch is super cool. And, you know, like I said, it's it's my PC, so I'm okay with having a, um, a smudged card, potentially. Again, awesome looking patch. Um, some of his other flawless cards have been in like the hundreds of dollars range. And uh, I probably wouldn't be willing to stomach that, but I think I got that for, I don't know, less than 20 bucks. Next one is a couple different cards here. And these aren't the prices that I paid for them. But we've got from, I think this is 2012, Panini Black. Uh, marks the distinction. Numbered 11 of 28. 
you gain cards in pretty good shape. Especially for these sticker cards. A lot of times with these sticker cards, um, they just seem to get beat up in the packs that they come in. And then second card here is um, from, what was this, 2009 Playoff Absolute Memorabilia. Um, auto jersey card. The auto is all on sticker, um, which is cool. Again, didn't pay 20 bucks for this. I think it paid like 12. And this one is number nine of 25. It's a nice couple of pickups there. There's two big cards that I believe are in these last three packages that I am super stoked for. And this may be one of them. Yes, I believe it is. So, this is, come on. Um, I will say, dude did a pretty good job of packaging the set this up relatively safe. Probably could have found a little bit larger pieces of cardboard, but it's okay. So this is from 98 Bowman's Best. It's a rookie auto. Which I do have a couple of these. There you go. Scoot that down a, little, down a little bit. But this is the refractor version. Um, I have not seen any of the there you go refractor any of the refractors out there before. So that's why I had to pick this guy up. Um, the auto is really nice. It's in the blue pen. Um, corners and everything look really good. Um, and yeah. Got this for probably, I don't remember the exact price off the top of my head. Um, I want to say it was like 20 bucks or so. Um, maybe a little bit a little bit more than that, but was stoked to find a, a refractor because I have not seen any since I got back into collections. So that was one of the two big ones. This may be the other big one that I've been excited and waiting for. Uh, no, it's not. But... Um, adding to the Brunel PC. This is from this year's Encased. Picked this up for a pretty solid price. Um, like 10 bucks, roughly. Number 3349. Nice good auto. Really long finish there. Looks like it might go right to the edge of the card. Um, yeah. Nice new one to add to the, the Brunel PC. So, that leaves this last guy, which should be a nice doozy. At least in terms of Fred Taylor. So, we've got the envelope within the envelope, which is good to see. And this should be a 101. Yep. Here we go. From this year's Rookies and Stars, Great American Heroes, we got the one of one. Uh, this is actually, let's see, I believe my second one of one uh, for Fred Taylor. The other one you can see right back here from this year's Illusions. Technically, it's a Chris Ivory card, but uh, Fred Taylor actually makes up the larger portion of that that picture. Um, nice, cool looking card. Really pops. You get a little bit of a, a darker black background here, which meshes well with the jersey. Um, was super stoked to, to win this one. So all in all, that's what I got for you today. Thanks again for watching, guys. As always, like, subscribe, tell a friend. And if there's, if there's something else you want to see on this channel, let me know below, and I'll do my best to make it happen. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you next time.